Hello, I'm Laura Purcell. I'm the author of Gothic Ghost Story, The Silent Companions, which is out now. I'm here at Waterstones Gower Street to talk to you about spooky books that I love and books that have inspired the writing of The Silent Companions. The first one is a wonderful book called Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. This book was really helpful to me um, in writing The Silent Companions because it's about a lady called Grace who is imprisoned for murder but she doesn't remember the um, events leading up to incarceration um, and she's visited by a doctor who is trying to find out exactly what happened. It's a similar setup um, in The Silent Companions so this book really really helped me um, and it's just lyrical, it's so well written um, and it starts every chapter with a different kind of quilt. Um, so it's all about getting different pieces together and the different tapestries of people's minds and it's just fantastic. The next book I want to talk to you about is The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. This book is one of the scariest I've ever read. There are a lot of ghost stories about but few of them are genuinely scary um, and I remember reading this one and just being blown away with it. The great thing about Shirley Jackson as well is that she really gets inside the psychology of her characters' minds, so you feel like you're going slightly mad at Hill House with everybody there. Um, at the end of the book, one of the characters makes a big decision, but you're so caught up in her madness that you're kind of there with her and willing her to do it, and I just think that's a testament to how fantastic and persuasive Shirley Jackson's writing is. And lastly, but perhaps most importantly, one of my favourite books is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I love everything written by Daphne du Maurier, um, but Rebecca was the first that I read. And this one did influence The Silent Companions quite a lot, because for those of you that don't know the story, it's about a young woman who marries a rich widower and goes to his country estate to live but there's the feeling of his dead wife in the house. Um, she pervades everything. And in The Silent Companions, my character Elsie also goes to live at an estate where previous mistresses have, have lived and she gets that unsettling feeling. Um, so this, this is hugely influential for me. And I named the cat in The Silent Companions after the dog in this book is Jasper.